Okay, I'm going to show you um, how to download the text editor that we're going to be using for the class. Um, we, we have in the past used Atom, and Atom, it looks like, is going bye-bye in December. I don't know what that means, but I thought, well, let me look around and find a new text editor. And I kind of like Sublime. I haven't used it. I don't really know it. But a text editor is the same. It just allows you to type out text. And you can tell it what kind of coding language you're typing out by saving the file as a certain file type. It'll recognize the coding and color the coding differently than a paragraph of text. So I'm going to go with Sublime Text. And it's Sublime Text. Um, dot com. So Sublime Text dot com. And it comes up like this. It recognizes that I'm on a Mac computer. So I'm going to, to download it, I'm going to click this. And I will put it in uh, documents, I guess. You can put it wherever you want. And I've done this a, a few times now here. Let me go into uh, users and Guthrie and documents. And there it is right there. It's sublime text and like for a Mac and .zip. Now, a zip file, as, as I think I've said before, it's a file whose holy, uh, only reason for being is to have something inside of it. It's holding something inside of it. So to open up a zip file, you double click it and it opens it up and sublime text application is in there. I would drag it to your desktop and that way You'll, however you want to do it, you can drag it and just drop it on your desktop. I have a messy desktop. But um, anyways, it's easier to get to. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to double click it to open it. And it's going to say, hey, you downloaded this from the internet. Do you really want to open it? I'm going to say open. Yes. And here it is right here. Notice that it's an untitled text file, so it doesn't know what we're doing yet. In, uh, in Sublime Text. So, so um, I've already installed this and it recognizes certain things that maybe you don't have yet. But if you, if you go under Tools, I think at the bottom, it, it'll say, instead of for Developer for me, it should say, I believe under Tools, it should say Install Package Control. Install Package Control, I believe. And then once you do that and click Install Package Control, which is all the way down here, I believe, then you can go over to the word Sublime Text over on the left, top left here, go down to Preferences, and say Package Control. Sublime Text Preferences Package Control. And click it. And then, these are all these different things you can do. The only one I think that we're going to do is install package. Package control, install package, about halfway down here. Okay? And when I click it, I'm going to search for lorem. Now, somehow, it still has the fact that I've downloaded this before. So you're going to put in lorem. Um, sorry. It's lore M. <laughs> Lorem Ipsum, L O R E M space Ipsum, I P S U M. And you'll have one that'll just say, I think, Lorem Ipsum, and you'll click it. And when you click it, it's, it installs it that quickly. Okay? So when you're going to find it, you're going to click right here. And install it. Now again, I've already installed it, so it doesn't show me that. But um, once you do that, then in your document, you can right click and see at the top where it says Lorem Ipsum, and it gives me the amounts of, of paragraphs of Latin text I want. We're going to go with lots. A bit is just a few words, some is about two, two sentences. But lots is a full paragraph. I, I don't know why they just don't say that. Like, come on. Anyways, if you click it, it'll give you a paragraph of Latin text. And historically, we use Latin text.
Okay. Historically, we use Latin text um, to fill up a page because if you, if you just type out blah, 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 it looks weird. So this way, quickly, you can fill up a full uh, page with content, fake content, that looks real. And then you can, because of that, you can design the page. All right? I just wanted to let you know. Thanks.